wanted to give some love to Max Cats. Give them a shout out. I have been using both of their vices and their vices are just great. So I thought I'd do a little review here for you um, just to give them my stamp of approval. These two vices, uh, they did not give them to me. I bought them myself because I, I wanted an inexpensive vice that wouldn't cost me an arm and a leg. Um, hadn't had good luck with inexpensive vices, but this was the last ditch effort. This was the last ditch effort before I possibly threw down some extra money for a vice. First one I got was 60, 70 bucks. Um, so I'll do that one first. So here we go. So there's a lot of info on the web about these. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, except to say that these jaws hold really good. This one, this is the, the less expensive model. Um, I got tape on it because my, my light that I tie with, it shined off the chrome and kind of distracted me. So I just threw a little tape on it, but it's got great jaws. Throw a little grease on there. Um, I put a little olive oil on the nut here to uh, make it operate smooth. Jaws are pretty easy to operate. You just open them up by plopping that out and then put your hook in there. Tighten it up. I don't know how small. I think I've done some like uh, size 16 paragons in this vise. That's about as small as I go. I mainly do... Um, these kind, you know, salmon hooks and intruders and stuff, um, larger streamers. But this has proven to be a very nice vise, very good jaws, very inexpensive if you want to. It's not a true rotary vise, but it does spin around like this, okay? So if you want to inspect a fly. So to inspect this fly, it's a stinger type streamer, kind of an intrudery thing. If I wanted to inspect it, I did cut the shank off so it's got intruder wire on there. And I can just spin this around and inspect it or if I wanted to uh, put some thread on there. So it kind of acts a little bit like a rotary vise in that it spins around, although it's not a true rotary because, you know, this part will go up and down which a true ro rotary, your shank will stay steady if it's adjusted right, of course. But anyway, it's got good jaws. It's uh, it's just a really nice, inexpensive vise. It comes with a super nice clamp. If you want a true rotary vise, I also have this Max Catch. This one costs about 100 bucks, 105, just a little over 100. You'll have to check. I you can get them on eBay from Max Catch and uh, you can get free shipping. Um they're very inexpensive. But this is a super super nice vise. It's got just great jaws on it. Um really easy to operate. It's the kind that you just you just Put your fly in here and then you tighten this little deal until it makes contact and then you give her the thumb job see this this makes contact this little bolt right here and then this clamps it down and it's a true rotary vise i don't really have it set up for true rotary this one's a little more of a true rotary i haven't tested it exactly because i don't care that much but you can rotate it around without the axis of your fly wobbling up and down too much. So it's kind of handy. I'd love this vise. The, the jaws are fabulous. One of these tightening, this there's a tightening bolt that goes here. It was plastic and it broke off, but it still spins just about right. So I doubt I'll even replace it. There might be a plastic part or two, but if you want a really good deal, Rotary vise, super good jaws. This could be a travel vise, or you could, you know, get the clamp for it. Super great jaws. I really love these jaws. You could do chin ups off this thing. 
so easy to tighten your fly, no messing around. You just make contact, clamp her down. And uh, the reason I like to clamp them down so tight is on my trailer flies. I like to use a dubbing spinner a lot. And, and the beauty is when you're using a dubbing spinner, if you, uh, what I like is that I never have a bobbin that actually has thread in it. Oh, there's one now. Say you wanted to do a composite loop. If you wanted to do a composite loop, what I really like about, about this, if I was gonna do a composite loop on this, I could do my loop, wax my thread, take my OPST dubbing spinner, and I can set it right back here on this funky little thing that you can get with your vise. These are so handy to keep your dubbing spinner out of the way. So I really like that. But the reason I like to, uh, the reason I like to tighten my flies so tight is because when I am doing a composite loop, I really reef on it. You know, I use uh, two 10 denier thread and just pull really hard. Your fly will not come loose. It's, they're just that good. So anyway, for the money, it's it's a great vice. They did not give me this vice or the other vice. I bought them both and I'm thrilled with my purchase. Highly recommend it. And that is my stamp of approval for both Max Catch vices. So if you're on the fence about getting one, you don't want to spend a lot of money, I recommend them full-heartedly.